Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is Wednesday, June seventh, two thousand and twenty-three, on the Drunk Poker Tis Beer Time. It's a. Uh, it's still hazy. You see some blue sky. It's it's definitely a weird time. Um, if you're following along with the wildfires here in in uh, Quebec and Ontario, and it's kind of swooped down into the states. If you've seen pictures from New York, it's crazy. Uh, so stay safe out. Stay safe out there. Uh, it feels okay here. I don't know. Don't be outside. I'm like, well, I gotta go outside. It's nice outside, but it's yeah, it's not as smoky here, I guess. So that's where we are today. All right. So I hope wherever you are, you're staying safe, doing whatever you gotta do. Or if you're fine, then that's good too. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's a crazy time, man. Let's have a beer. So I was at the LCBO the other day, which was today, but I have to say that. And I saw this, and I thought to myself, you know what? I love a classic pale ale. From Creemore Springs, which, yes, is owned by Molson Coors, but is considered to be, it's almost like hands-off with them, feels like. Any beer I've had from Creemore in the last couple of years has been perfectly on point and feels, you know, good. So I'm always interested to see takes. This is a classic pale ale. Uh, 5.6%. They use crystal malts. Um, you know, I just, oh, sorry, caramel malts and American hops. It, it's, a, it's a tribute to John. Uh, John Higgins, their their founder. So, I'm like it intrigues me. I have my Urbach glass, and again, Urbach was great. But yeah, I love like because there's a whole bunch of us who you know we weren't around when craft beer started, and you know I know people will get all not everybody. Most people are pretty cool now. There's people like I won't drink it because it's not really craft, and then they get on Moosehead, which is craft, and they're like, well, that's not craft. I'm like, there's like, been a whole thing the last two days. But I'm really just here because I thought this was a cool idea. Um, classic pale ales. We did see that from uh, Fairweather the other week, but let's get into this here. Uh, cheers, my friends. It's a little cool out tonight. I'm not going to lie here. It's cool and weird. I don't know if I smell the campfire anymore, but still, it looks weird. Let's get into this. Cheers. You almost like, whenever I try these, I'm reminded of the early days of when I first started drinking craft beer. And I mean, for me, early days, it's like 2013, 12. Um, and there were a lot of what we would call Ontario pale ales, and they were this kind of crystal malt, really heavily bitter beers. Now, this does have that caramel malt, that bready kind of backbone. And then it's more like, I would call it like an orange citrus pith on the back. Um, it is, in a sense, a classic pale ale. It is, I think, trying to evoke that sense of when that, that hop race started, right? When that hop race, because that's what it became. It became who could make the bitterest beer, who could make the 100 IBUs. And, you know, I, I, I don't know that we've gotten away from that, or have we? Or now is it who can make the haziest beer? But it's an interesting look back and kind of fun. Citrusy pale, but they describe the beer accurately. Accurately. It does remind me a bit of, like, an English... It has... Because, see, that, to me, there's always been the spin on the classic American pale ale. has its or, origins in an English pale ale, an English IPA, with that kind of malt backbone. And then the, 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 the bitterness kind of gets dialed up. Like I said, orange, piney, um, but bitter and exceptionally quaffable. Is that is that a good compliment on a beer? It's drinkable. It's a good beer. It's interesting to try. It's certainly different from what you see the majority of the market today, which is the hazy IPA, or the sour. This is a throwback to an older style. Now, I don't know enough about them to, to be telling you how accurate that is, but it feels right. And sometimes when it feels right, you got to go with it. So that feels right. So I hope you're having a good night. I don't know what's going on anymore. The world's such a weird place, man. Just trying to hang on. Just hang on for dear life. Watch Ted Lasso, because that kind of makes me feel happier. I still have one more season to go. I've only been through two seasons, but uh, poke loves you. Take it easy. Check this out next time you're at the LC. Why not? Give it a try. Craft, not craft. I don't care. It's good beer, and sometimes good beer is good beer, and that's all you got to know. Cheers. Like I dig it. It's it's fun, fun. Beer was fun. Beer should be fun and good. Good fun beer. <laughs> 